by exhaust. The C7 no longer has exhaust. We got tired of having horrible ground clearance issues. So we put the X pipe, cut it right there. We're gonna put turn downs on it and another brace that holds it up right there. But uh, C7 is probably gonna be a little louder now, but eh, you know, that's what happens. You got these uh, street cars, you know. So no more b, &B but we are gonna have the tips kind of mounted up in there, which the valence isn't on there. So that way it looks like it's completed and has tips, but they're just there for show. And then right there's where the exhaust starts, but got a lot of ground clearance now as you can see the exhaust used to actually hang lower than the trans so tucked it up in there real nice oh yeah All right, we're here at KC Denton Tent, and uh, Josh, one of the owners here, got the dent out of Nemo. Look at this. You can't even tell where it was. It was, like, right around there somewhere. Pretty crazy stuff. Josh is gone, though. He's not here. We scared him away. <laughs> but he got Nemo fixed up. I mean, that is pretty crazy what he just did so hell yeah if you guys need anything done can't see dent and tent is where you need to go chris warren what's up hey show us your new hellcat over here oh man chris is uh call her christine oh christine christine here it is what do you what do you think of uh the hellcat it's very nice i'm actually very spoiled so far with it uh being a vet guy I had to let one of the vets go and get this Hellcat, and I'm really enjoying it because you can put the family in, yeah. have a nice cruise, but you still got some big power. When you pulled up today, I was like, damn, who's driving this nice red Hellcat? And then Chris pops the window open. <laughs> I knew he was going to get one, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got Nemo over here. Look at this. No more no dent. No more dent. Our boy Josh at KC Dent and Tent did a fantastic job getting this dent out on Nemo. Look, we got the C7 out. We got Jason Carter. You might know his other car. Mark Mickey, Jason Carter racing. They got the fast blue Malibu that runs in Radioverse World. That's his uh that's his street car, ZR1. Man, got a Hellcat red eye up here. Hey Nick! We gotta go run an errand. Back. Oh, Jeez. yeah. Priest Holmes. I mean, that's autographed, too. <laughs> Here. That's, that's the big dog. There's Jason Carter. Where you guys want to The infamous Malibu.
Long Block. Um, Gen 3 Coyote. Gen 3 Coyote. So this one should be pretty serious. Got the head studs in there. Yep, got the ARP head studs. Uh, we had to get a special Cometic gasket to clear for the O-ring. Um, it should be pretty cool, dude. Yeah, should it should be, be, be built for some thing. power. This There's some of the, the turbo kit that we got. This is one of those BL Fab turbo kits from down in Florida. Single turbo. It's got a like a fender exit down pipe on there five inch reduced into four uh i don't know where the turbo is it's a pretty good size unit though yeah it's over there right now we're putting the lifts in the new shop this is our third lift these two titan lifts are from our old shop we just got them over here this blue lift was already in here it's an old rotary so it kind of worked out for making the move a little quicker Oh, there it is. Yeah, pretty oh, good size. That is a good size turbo. Oh, the bald eagles. Ford Warner. Oh, yeah. It's a oh, pretty yeah. healthy one, I think. Oh, yeah, billet wheel. The exhaust housing, I think, is in another box. I think it's yeah. got the good exhaust housing, yes, too. The, yes, is it the tall ones? Yep. Yeah, that'll look nice. It's also, what else is this car getting, Curtis, the red Mustang? Uh, it's going to get one of our killer 1,300 horsepower built 10-speed transmissions. Oh, yeah. So we will be making 1,300 horsepower 10-speed and low eights. Low eights? Low eights. And uh, fuel system? Killer, one th oh, well, killer 1,500 fuel oh, it's system. Getting, it's getting our triple, killer fuel system. Triple in. pump. 1,700 nice. injectors. Um, I'm getting uh, we oh the the wheels that we did a few months back with the red we had them powder yes, coated the black red. with the red bead lock. Yep, red Those bead are going lock. on this yep. car. Oh yeah, I remember now. This car still got like two thousand miles on it. It's like brand new. And then we got ourselves a Mopar in here. Love the color, Steve. Full bolt ons, right? Full bolt ons. So we got a uh, upper pulley, lower pulley. Um, let's see. We got the blower spacers. Gonna pin the crank. We got injectors. Yeah, the thermal plates. Yeah, we're gonna pin the crank. We got some injectors for it. Uh, cat deletes. Catch can. Catch can. Boost pump. Yeah, it's red eye too. So this thing's gonna make some serious power when we're done with it. I told the guy he might want to get rid of those stock 20 inch tires because it's gonna go a whole lot of nowhere until he gets about over 100 miles an hour. Mustang in here built transmission and circle D converter. We got a track cock, we got finished with it, but we're gonna go ahead and do some more stuff to it because it wants more power. We got Nemo over here awaiting his valve body, but he did get the dent fixed, which I showed y'all. Back to looking like a showroom new car again. Cannot believe that PDR job over there that Josh did for us. Got the C7 over there running. Had a Super Bowl party last night, go Chiefs. And then, still got the Vortec car in here. I think we found our boost problem though. It's ate so many belts through the blower that all the rubber is in this side of the intercooler. It's making 31 pounds of boost at the blower and only 21 pounds through the intercooler. So it's a 10 pound loss. You'd normally see about three to four pounds going through an intercooler, but not 10. We do see a lot of rubber down there though. So we're gonna figure out a way to clean that out. If y'all have any ideas, comment in the video. C7 looking good though. Got them cleaned up yesterday. Had all the blue pipes, powder coated gloss black. Also got some black fuel rails, which are sitting right over there. Uh, we're about ready to put those on here in just a few. But it's looking good. We're going to have this thing at uh, World of Wheels, Kansas City, here in a couple weeks. And Tucson, Streetcar Takeover Tucson. This car will be out at Streetcar Takeover Tucson. Got the Cortez uh, ice tank in there, RPM roll bar.
Right now we're on our way to the shop. We just moved locations. Uh, we got a much nicer, bigger location than what we had uh, the first basically half year that we were open. We've already expanded and I uh, showed you all a little bit of the shop the other day in the video, but now we're pretty much moved in and uh, we have some really cool things working at the shop right now. And uh, I wanna show you all what's going on. So I'll see you at the shop here in just a few minutes. So this is the what the office looks like now. Got it set up pretty good. Um, yeah, basically we're putting a like a garage door right there. It goes right out to the shop. That way we can park a car right here, uh, which will be really cool. We got this little deal we set up. It's actually a desk. We're gonna paint it black, uh, kind of give it the good vibe in here. Got the stereo set up. Got internet hooked up, 70 inch TV. We did get the other lift installed, so that looks good there. So now we got three total lifts. Got Chevy, Ford, Mopar all in one building right now. Trackhawk, Hellcat Red Eye, uh, Gen 3 Coyote, another Gen 3 Coyote getting that single turbo kit I showed you all a while ago. C5 Z06, just did a built motor in that CTSV. Of course, got Nemo sitting over here. C7 back there and that rowdy Vortec Mustang. We're waiting on the intercooler to get back on it. So things looking good. It's actually looking like a shop in here now. What do you think, guys? You guys like the shop? Love the new shop. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're, we're not we're not tripping over cars anymore. Tripping over parts. We got plenty of room in here. We're finally getting settled in. So. Covering them work instead of pushing them and moving them all. I know, right? Yeah, you just back out a car or two and that's it uh but ctsv we're getting in tune tomorrow it'll be on the next video uh stock boost but does have a built texas speed motor in it uh hellcat red eye it'll go on the dyno later this week as well uh basically everything that dory has but it's got blower spacers uh, that's the only difference so other than that's all the same stuff this thing's going to be rowdy when it's all done probably 1300 plus horsepower which will be cool we'll get the c7 on the dyno so everything is currently running in the stable right now. Nemo, C7, everything. So it's looking good. Got our board here of all the cars we got coming in. I forgot to show you all the parking lot outside. So when you walk out the door, that's actually I-70 right out there. We did some victory uh, donuts for the Chiefs game the other day. This is like almost the exact same dimensions as a burnout pit at like say Cleus and Cars. I measured the lot out, it's pretty crazy. Of course it wraps all the way around back. It's looking good. We got cameras set up all out here now. We can monitor everything. Got the trailer sitting out here. Of course got the dually, which by the way, I love this Dodge. It's been a great truck so far. But yeah, so that's killer performance. We need to get our new sign put up on the wall right there maybe some branding on the windows but other than that man this is a great location for killer performance also i don't know if y'all knew this or not but uh nemo is actually featured in the very last issue of chevy high performance that's actually a, a magazine that you can buy and look through uh they are actually going to all digital so it's pretty cool there's the feature that we got for uh nemo they're really cool photography and pictures done. Grant Cox took all the pictures for us. The actual magazine looks like that though. It's the very last issue. It came out this last month. So March issue, March 2020, last issue of Chevy High Performance and Nemo is featured in there. That's pretty cool. All the other features that we've had over the years. Of course, we have more. We just need to get them put up. So. C7's got two more magazines it was in. Yeah, if y'all remember that one, that's OG right there. The fifth gen that I had, single turbo Camaro. That was on the front cover of Camaro Now, which was a magazine that was only, I think, two or three issues a year. And uh, made it on the front cover back in 2015, which was really cool. That This car was actually shot for GM High Tech Magazine whenever it was out, but then when they went under, Camaro Now picked it up and actually did the feature on the Camaro. I mean, how could you not feature that? Look at those pictures. Heck yeah. Maybe we'll do another 15 one day, you never know. Anyone want a monster?
Make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, watch for our next videos that we got coming out. Uh, we're gonna have the C7 and stuff uh, on the dyno. The weather's just been bad. It's, it's about ready to snow again. It's kind of flurrying right now. So we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Take care.